My name is Beverage. 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 How did, how did Beverage come to be? Oh, how did Beverage come to be? So my, uh, well, my, 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 my actual name is Xander. So one of my friends decided she was going to try to get my attention by saying Zand, Z-A-N-D. But she had misspelled the name and spelled Sand, S-A-N-D. So I go into my group chat with my other friends, and I say, my name is Sand. And one of the friends was in Japan at the time. And he said, no, you are Sake, S-A-K-E. And then I said, no, I'm not a Japanese alcoholic beverage. And they said, you are beverage. And, and ever since then, I've been beverage. Wow. I think that was the gayest story I've ever heard in my fucking life. Sorry. Um... Why don't you kiss my big fat ass? Kiss my big fat ass. Kiss my big fat ass. No. So, so let me ask this. Um, let's say a man <laughs> offered you a million dollars. Okay. And all you had to do was give him a, a good kiss on the lips. What'd you do? Ooh, a million dollars for just yeah. like a, a, a quick kiss? Like a, like a, like a minute-long kiss. Oh, ooh, ooh. What'd hey. you do? Minute-long, man. No. <laughs> not, not for a minute. Hell no. Not, that would I, haunt I, me. I don't just give him a kiss. That's that, like, would, not... that would haunt me. All right, let me ask you another question. Gay son or $5? Gay son. Gay son. Really? Gay son. Okay, why? Explain. Because because my son can have like a like a stable loving relationship with one man instead of my daughter sleeping around with the whole football team. Right, right. But your son will be sucking cock every night. <laughs> now that's 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 now, not, that's not in my business. So really the question is none of my your business. daughter suck cock every night and your son does I would rather I would rather my son suck one guy's cock right. rather than my daughter right. sucking every guy's all cock. Right. That's all. That's all it is. He he just he's too hard headed, man. He's too. Oh. Oh, a roller. Okay. All right. Professional. Professional. Very professional. Going into professional mode as of right now. That's right. Who do you hate most? Who do I hate most in the class? That, that's a tough one, man. There's a few candidates that could go in there. Um, you got a guy named Beverage. Don't like that guy at all. Gotta tell you the truth. You know, he's, you know, I'm from the South and in the South we have quite a few sayings that would describe Beverage perfectly. You know, he thinks he's all that in a bag of chips. He's too big for his britches. He thinks his shit doesn't stink. You know, he thinks he's the highest grade of weed in the dispensary. He thinks he's the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree. I mean, all those describe him perfectly. And I don't know, that's just why I don't like him. Um, you know, we got Augustine. Augustine is a is a character. He's too right wingish for me. He's not really like right wingish, but he's just he's like a he's just he's too far into like Andrew Tate, you know, uh, Jordan Peterson. You know, I think he probably loves Trump, but he doesn't love Trump necessarily for the wrong reasons, but he still loves him for the wrong reasons. Do you, uh, do you ever think you are also too big for your britches? Um, in a literal sense, maybe. Um, no, I think I'm pretty humble. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I think that like, I think compared to other people, I think I'm very humble and I'm down to earth and you know, I'm just a great guy. I mean, I don't really see what's, what's wrong with these. There's some people, I've been told by a certain person that I do have a lot of respect for, uh, you know, I'm not gonna say her name, but she told me that I'm an asshole. And I just was like, how am I an asshole? She couldn't even explain it. So that tells you right there that sometimes when people say things about you, they're really just saying it for shock value. That's it. I'm really glad that you told us you were humble. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to know you were humble. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Would you have known that you shit your pants five minutes ago? Uh, no, no, I would Okay, all right. Uh, tell me, um, you look like you are someone who left their wife and kids. Can you tell us about that? Uh, I don't, I don't know what, what that's what you're trying to say there. I don't really get the joke. Um, I don't have a wife or a kid. Um, your wife and kids contacted me. Really? Yes. Well, I would love to meet. Ex -wife. Yeah. Oh, okay, ex-wife. 
I don't know what woman would be stupid enough to fall in love with me in the first place. I would love to meet, I would love to meet this woman and I would love to meet the kid. I mean, if you say it's my kid, I'd love to meet him. You know, now let me ask you this. Have you done DNA testing or they just called you and said something? They said they have it. Okay, I want to see it. Do you have it with you or no? No, they have it. Oh, they have it. Oh. We are here with the, the Philly legend himself, man. The Philly legend himself. Uh, he loves Peter Lab 215. He loves AR Ave. He loves all those guys, man. What's going on, Devontae? What's the deal, man? You know, just living my best life. Living your best life? You know. All right. Um, why did you come to the first institute? Man, I just wanted to change, get into film, one day make my own movie, get the basics of working in the industry. All right. Let me, let me ask you a question. What do you think of this guy named uh, Beverage? What do, you, what do you think about that guy? Honestly, right. he's, he's a smart guy. He's a smart guy? Yeah, you know, he, he got his shit together. Does you know? he? He does. Okay. From, from, from my point of view, he does. I mean, you know, I don't really be worried about nobody, really, but Smart, he's a smart guy, I got his shit together. All right, let me ask you this. You and Ben would actually share a room together at one point. Is that, is that true? That's true. Did you ever catch Ben doing anything like odd or weird or? Nah, nah, he's pretty normal. Pretty sure. normal guy, yeah. So you never woke up to him like dressed up like a furry, anything like that? Nah, 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 no? nah, nah, never, honestly, nah. You never saw him in a wig or a dress before? <laughs> no, I have not. No, never seen never Beverage in a wig or a dress. Okay. That's me. Be out of my comfort zone. I'd rather not. I'd rather be. I'd rather be a, a good bit further away. So you, you had something to say? Yeah, I'm actually uncomfortable too. I'm glad you said that. You know, I feel for my safety right now. Um, can we have we checked to make sure he's not on any national wanted list or anything like that? I feel like that check hasn't been done. I would prefer, if we're gonna do this interview, I would prefer that we do that. He might be in the top 10 most wanted. I don't know. Most, most I mean, wanted? I, I don't know, I mean, I, look at, at his least, mustache. At least I'm wanted. I mean, no. Yeah, yeah but no. you're wanted by like the wrong person, the wrong people. Yeah, I'm sure there's some women in there too. How many women want you? I mean, have you done a poll? Zero. Have you done a poll? What kind of game you got? Have you done a poll? When is the last time you've been on a date with a woman? Have you done a survey? Answer my question. Last week. I'm trying to do a server right now. I'll tell you what, if you want to know about the date, there's one woman you could ask about it. And it's your mother. She'll tell you about the before, she'll tell you about the during, she'll tell you about after, she'll tell you about two weeks later. I mean, just give her a call. That's interesting you say that actually, right. because my mother is in uh, Pensacola. Actually, no, right now she's in New York. You ever heard of an airplane? The Wright brothers have invented it. You got money for airplane? Yeah, I got some money. Receipts. But then again, I mean, I then have to pay for it. I mean, kind of. I mean, I don't want. I don't want to just flat out. I kind of want to like lead you to the water. You know what I mean? I didn't. I, didn't. I mean, I don't know. If she's been in New York, and you're here, right. and you haven't really missed school. Um, well, I mean, she's been, weekend. and I've been. I've been talking to her. Right. Right. Well, we well, why would she tell you about what's what, what she's got going on in her personal life? Well, because she she's been she's been going through some 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 stuff in our old right. house. And throughout the weekend, she's actually been sending me pictures of like, you know, my clothes and stuff, see what oh, I want to yeah. keep and, and not keep. Yeah. So it's just interesting that she's been there showing proof that she's still been in New York. Right, right. And you're saying she wasn't in New York. Well, again, have you ever heard of an airplane? And have you ever heard of like Saturday and Sunday? Yes, I have. Sat on Saturday and Sunday, she right. was providing these pictures right. real time. Well, she had to take a break, right? So you're telling me she, a few, hour, a few hours out of her day, she came here I don't need and minutes. back. You're not you're not even taking in the time for the plane. Get to well, the no, airport. no, no. I mean, I don't know. If, well, see, I don't know if you've done actually done the research, right? But it only takes about a couple hours to get from here to New York, from Florida to New York. Right. Florida, my bad. Right. Um, and I mean, with an airplane technology, that's fine. So I could have went there all day Saturday. Could have been back by like Sunday night. So you were in New York, is what yeah. you're saying. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm not trying to give away too many details, but it's very possible. Interesting. What's yeah. so so you know my address then? I don't need to know the address. She bought. I mean, if somebody else buys a ticket for you, they can put in all that information. Oh, oh so she bought the ticket. I mean, I don't necessarily want to say that. Because I know she don't got ticket money. Oh, you know that. I do know that. You know, so you look at her bank account. Yes. 
Really? Yes. I don't know, bro. I, I am involved in the finances. Some, you might want to take another look. I'll, 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 take, another look. I'll take another I, look. I some transactions in there that you might need to need to see. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, just another day in the office, man. You know, we're doing some interviews. Um, kind of, kind of my nature, my field of work. Um, done a few interviews already, and I would, I would say they uh, went well. Most of them. A um, couple of them that may, may, may have went south. It is what it is. What can you do? You know. But I'm having a good time, man. What about you? It's good, man. Hey, what about you, beverage? I'm, I'm still, I'm still next to your ass. Okay. I'd say that's the best place you can be right now. Really? Yeah. I could think of a million other places I could be that's not right next to you. Name 10 of them. Not right next to you. Name 10 of them. That's all of them. That's all of them? Outside. Underground. In my grave. In my car. In my bed. Right. Somewhere right. else in my room. Right. Fucking right. Walmart. 7-Eleven. The moon. Now, the only, the only, place, I'm gonna, the only <laughs> place I agree that's better than here is 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is amazing. I love 7-Eleven. The only place better than 7-Eleven, Wawa. Are you serious? So what? what what's better than this? You you having some a muscle spasm? I do actually. Yeah, that's interesting. That you mentioned that. That was oh, it, that, that wasn't. It wasn't. Nah, it wasn't. I'm not. I'm not like that. It wasn't. What you thought? Wow, that's really ableist of you, Gabriel. We can edit that out, right? We, we can. Okay. All right. All right. Plans after, plans after like today? Uh, um. I, mean, I can't answer this one. Guys, sorry about that. <laughs> See, I, I, I can answer that if you want. I, you can shut the fuck up. No, I'm good. You're going to be a furry, right? Let the man answer. Oh, okay, what? All right, go ahead. So what I'm doing after school is not... After school <laughs> is not being around everyone here. Not being around everyone here. That's gonna be that's gonna be great. Especially, especially you. Especially that's you. That's fine. You in the restraining order for that? Or not? I will. You I'm going straight to court. That costs money. Do you got any money in your wallet? I got enough money for that. You do? I, I'll scrounge up any amount of money just so I can stay away from you. Well, right? speaking of money, you did lose twenty dollars the other day. Um, you know, I don't want I don't want to bring that up. But do you want to talk about how you lost twenty dollars? I lost a bet. Okay, what was the nature of the bet? You wanna? The nature of the bet was that we had until the end of the year agree to get me with a D's Nuts joke. Right. And you, in fact, did get me with a right. D's Nuts joke. Right. And I, in the, on the contract that we both signed, I had to pay you $20. And so I lost a bet. Right. And how did that make you feel? I lost a bet. <laughs> that it, it ruined your life, right? Not really. Well, I mean, if your life was already ruined before, it can't really get more ruined. It's like if, if you splash somebody with some water, they're not going to get more wet. Exactly. You know I mean? so exactly. Like if your life was ruined, it's not going to get more ruined. How's exactly. It's, it's like, you, honestly, you, you added a drop of water in the ocean. Right. Exactly. I'm... But you know what? At least it was me. You can add that to your resume. You know what I mean? Anybody else is just like, whatever. You know what I mean? But it's me. So. I agree, bro. What's up, bro? So what you, man? What you do that for? Um, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna stay in Florida, and uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do some great things, man. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just do some great things, man. I think I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna really get back into the YouTube game. You know, the YouTube world is missing something. It's missing the flavor, and uh, I I'm the thing that it needs. You know, it's kind of like when your cars are starting, and it's like it's like it's missing the starter. It's like man, like what? What is, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I may not be the most important piece, but I'm the piece that makes everything work. So like, I think I need to get back to the YouTube game. Um, Twitch too, Twitch is just dried up right now. Twitch is just, I mean, there's nobody worth talking about on Twitch right now. A lot of scandals going on, I'm not gonna get into that. Um, I think Twitch needs that too, man. Like, like Twitch is kind of like, it's like a band, you know? Like they might sound good when they're all together, but you take out the person that you think is the least important, and the whole sound is off. It's just, yep. Yeah. They need me, man. They need me. 
I'm that person. Like, I need to go back on Twitch. I need to give the people what they're looking for. Um, you can check out my content as Kiss My Big Fat Ass Productions. Check it out. Um, go see what you're missing in life, man. Really. Oh, uh, it was probably, probably some of my first interactions ever. I just realized that if anyone speaks to me, I inherently find them incredibly annoying, and I just want to go back to bed. Nothing, nothing. It's nothing. It's it's never really anything personal. It's never personal. I never really, I never don't like someone because of something that they are, or like just because of some they are. That's not what it's about. It's just the fact that they exist. That's what. That's the part I don't like. Sounds like there's multiple people in this school, like a lot. Like, That's. But I guess we had to be just one. Ooh. Do you, uh, uh, I'm thinking about this being shown in front of the class. Oh. See, there's, there's my real answer, and then there's the funny answer. Hmm. And I think, I think, I think everyone, everyone knows my real answer on who I really don't fuck with in class. But I'll give you my funny answer. My funny answer is probably this guy. <laughs> this guy, he he can go die in a hole. I, I you know I was gonna say I'm actually honored to be that guy. I'm honored, you know. I'm honored. Like that, that this is a very big achievement in my life. Great, good for you. That's fantastic. It is, it is good for me. Yeah. What about the person who built your truck? Is that is that he's got to be up there, right? Because he really gave you a bad deal. Who built my truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like like the technician at Toyota that built your truck. He's got to be like number one. Oh, like, that. here's me, and then here's I mean that guy really did you a disservice. What about the person who cut your hair last? Shelby. I mean that that's person, her name. I, well, Shelby, she really did you. A Shelby's great. I love. Like, Shelby. I shouldn't be talking about nobody's hair right now, but I'm going to. I'm going to. She's got to be up there. Dog, I mean, you, you, you look like an egg right now. You clothes. can't. Who sold me these clothes? No, what about that person? I mean, that person's got to be. I mean, I mean, it's got to be like. What about the person who like gave you life? And, I My mean, mother. And, and actually, now let's think about that. He just said that he hates his life. He hates everything around. So the person that gave him life. I mean, I would think that that would be the, like if somebody gave me something I really hated, and I really didn't want to do. I would think. Well, well, hating life is kind of a kind of a me thing. Like typically, that's not normal. Typically, you just you just have life. People usually enjoy that, savor it, want it. But you said you hated your life. Yeah, but it's it's like, it's 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 like someone giving you uh, a thing that everyone generally loves, but you specifically don't for some reason. You can't hate that person for assuming you're gonna want that. Well, and then yeah. you just you just don't like it, and then you kind of mind your own business. Well, it's funny you talked about assuming, because you know I don't. I mean I don't know if you guys know what happens when you assume, but what happens when you assume? Well, when you assume, not only do you make an ass out of you, you make an ass out of me too. Right, well, I'm, I'm bringing you down with me. All right, I guess we're going down together, buddy. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>